Mods for Minecraft 1.19.3. How do you download them? How do you install them? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. First things first, though, you need Forge. Forge is required in order to install Forge mods in Minecraft 1.19.3. Luckily, we have this in-depth guide here on how to download and install Forge. It's linked in the description down below, and it goes over everything you need to know to get Forge. We have this text guide that goes really over everything, goes over troubleshooting, frequently asked questions, all of that stuff. But we've also got this video guide up here at the top. So if if you want video, we've got it. If you want the text version, we've got it. And yes, this will be updated for 119.3 by the time you're watching this video. But you do need Forge. And once you've got Forge, we can go ahead and move on to downloading mods. Now, there are tons of different Minecraft mods out there. In the description down below, we have this page linked, which is Curse Forge. Now, once you get here, you'll need to sort by game version 1.19.3 in order to find mods that are compatible with 1.19.3. One thing worth noting, though, is that not all of these mods are compatible with Forge 1.19.3. There's two main mod loaders, Fabric and Forge. And you can check out the odds at the top of your screen if you want to see how to get Fabric mods. Sadly, though, you can't use Fabric and Forge mods at the same time. You have to commit to one and stick with it. But if we look at the Cloth API here, for example, this is a mod that just works with other mods. It's not that important. But what is important is noting that it has a Fabric and a Forge version. So, for example, the Fabric version is updated to 1.19.3, but the Forge version is not. It is still on 1.19.2. Meaning that you couldn't install this with Forge and you need to use the Fabric version in the Fabric Mod Loader if you wanted to use mods with the Cloth Config API. But nevertheless, some mods have updated, specifically one called Gravestone. So this is a simple mod that when you die in game, a Gravestone appears, you can get your items back with it. You can also create graveyards and move Gravestones and all that stuff, so it's pretty cool. This and the other mod we installed, Journey Map, is linked in the description down below and it will take you to our in-depth guide for this specific mod. Just go ahead and click Download Gravestones to be taken to the official download page. Then, with any Curse Forge mod, look at the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 version. Now, as you can see here, we have the Gravestone mod, and it's 1.19.3. It doesn't mention whether it's for Forge or for Fabric, and sometimes this information can be found on the page here. Usually, though, if it doesn't mention Fabric, it's probably a Forge mod. So let's go ahead and click on the orange download button there, and it will start downloading after a few seconds. While that's downloading, though, and by the way, you may need to keep or save your mods in the bottom of Google Chrome or save them in the center of your screen on Firefox. That's 100% safe to do that. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on to Journey Map. Now, Journey Map is a mini-map mod, but it's actually kind of a map mod for Minecraft. It adds in a full-screen map. You'll see it later in the video. It's really, really cool. But, of course, it takes you to our specific tutorial for Journey Map. If you click the link in the description, click download, and it takes you here. Now, once you are here, let's look at the right-hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. Journey Map's interesting because not only do we have the 119.2 Forge version here, we've also got the 119.3 Forge version. But that doesn't mean there's not other versions. There is a fabric versions of Journey Map as well that you can find, and it's very important that you make sure that this says Forge and not Fabric. So, as you can see, Journey Map 1.19.3, and then at the end it says Forge when you hover over it. So that means click the download button there. We're downloading the right version. While this is downloading, how about a our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex to start your very own modded Minecraft server. You can add individual mods like Journey Map and Gravestones to your servers, but you can also install entire mod packs with just one click at Apex. Truthfully, it is the easiest way to start a Minecraft server, so easy that I host all the Minecraft servers we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting. Alongside of that, they have 24 hours, 7 day a week support. So should you have any issues with your server, there is someone there to help day and night. So if you want to start a server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting at the first link down below the breakdown that XYZ slash Apex. Journey Map has now downloaded. Again, may need to keep or save it. And now we can minimize our browser and get these installed. So you should already have Forge in your Minecraft launcher. If you don't, go to that tutorial in the description right here and get Forge. You must have this in order for this to work. But nevertheless, once you've got your Minecraft launcher open, click on Installations, and you should have this Forge installation here. Now, if we click Play, it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft with Forge, and then we'll be able to quickly and easily install these mods. So let's go ahead and I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, we do have Forge in the bottom left there. And we have this Mods button. Click on the Mods button. And then you have this Open Mods folder button here. Click on that and we can move our mods in here. Now I did just realize I forgot one thing. So we do need to move our mods to our desktop in order to be able to easily drag them into that mods folder. To do that, all you need to do is go ahead and up here in the top left, click on the Windows icon. Now it's in the top left for me. It's probably in the bottom left for you or bottom center of your screen. And type in Downloads. That's where your mods are most likely be 
going to be found. Now, for me, I normally have a downloads folder that appears here. If you have that, just click on it, but otherwise, click on File Explorer, and then on the left-hand side, scroll down to the This PC section. You might have to open it up like so, and then click Downloads. Here is a Journey Map and Gravestone, the mods we downloaded. Let's drag and drop those to our desktop because, like I said, it's a lot easier to move them into the mods folder when they're on your desktop. Nevertheless, though, if we open up Minecraft and then click on that Open Mods folder in the bottom left again of the Mods tab. So go to Mods, Open Mods folder in the bottom left, and then drag and drop Journey Map and Gravestone or any other Minecraft 1.19.3 mods you want to install into this Mods folder, right like so. Close out of that, and then now if we click Done, they're not going to be there. We go back to mods, they're not going to be here until we quit Minecraft and open it back up. So we quit Minecraft, go back into the Minecraft launcher here, and relaunch Minecraft with Forge. If you want to play your mods, you have to launch Minecraft with Forge. There's no other way to do it. You, you can't play mods without playing Minecraft with Forge. And by the way, this morning's just saying that you're playing mod in Minecraft, so you're going to go ahead and move through that as well. But nonetheless, I will see you after another quick jump cut on the Minecraft main menu to show you that the mods are installed. Here we are on the main menu of Minecraft. We go to mods. We can see journey map and gravestone. There they are both installed. If we jump into a single player, we're going to go ahead and create a new world for this just because the gravestone mod does add something in game and I don't want it to mess up any of my existing worlds. So we go into gravestones and creative, bam, yes, go ahead. We're fine with experimental features. That's just saying basically you're playing with mods. I, I think I think that's pretty much all that's saying. But nevertheless, here we are loading in and once we're in game, it is super easy to see right away that journey map is working in the top right. Now, one of the coolest things about journey map specifically is being able to hit J on your keyboard. And then once you kind of read through this, this will only open the first time you open the mod. Click close. You can see a full screen overview of your world. So one of the coolest maps out there for Minecraft is Journey Map, in my opinion. It's the one I always recommend because it is just overall the best. Waypoints, full scale map, all of that. But what about the Gravestones mod? Well, good question. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, unfortunately fly up here and turn our game mode to survival and fall to our deaths because that's the only way we're going to be able to test the Gravestone mod. So game mode survival and fall to your death and there's the Gravestone. If we respawn, uh, we can go back to where our grave was, which uh, we can see is marked with a waypoint. How helpful is that? And we can go ahead and see, right there it is, there's our death location, and there is our gravestone. Boom, looking good. You also get this paper that shows like information about where you died, which is good, and it helps you get back there as well if you don't have the uh, waypoint from Journey Map to guide your way back. But nevertheless, that is how you can use Minecraft mods in 1.19.3. I think we've covered everything pretty extensively there. How to download them, how to install them, even tested these in game. And by the way, there are so many amazing mods out there. These are just two pretty simple mods. There are mods that add in completely new mechanics to games. And also, I would encourage you to check out mod packs because mod packs are a way to test a bunch of different mods all at one time. Sure, it's cool to install mods individually like this, but the best way to play mods, in my opinion, is with mod packs. And well, we have a ton of guides on that as well. Just Google how to install my mod packs in Minecraft and will pop up. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We make amazing Minecraft videos here on mods, servers, plugins, and pretty much anything and everything you want to do with Minecraft, especially the technical side of Minecraft. So be sure to like and subscribe for that. We'll see you in the next one.